account. Now, the civil society scaling up nutrition, ESO Sun, is concerned with the influx of herbal medicines being sold on the streets. Organization Country Coordinator Matthews Huru says producers of these herbal remedies have continued to advertise them as treatment for some illness and immune boosters. The report. And selling of homemade herbal food and beverages on the streets and in home shops has become business. Mostly because the products marketed are said to have healing properties. However, according to the Civil Society for Scaling Nutrition, this sector must be regulated. The concern now with the influx of um, you know just the herbal drinks and beverages that are being found uh, in the shelves, uh, in the streets, you know, the market, uh, that are not being regulated. Because if you look at the the content or just the nutrition information on those uh, beverages and um, you know, drinks, you would find that there is nothing that is being provided. And I think for us, what scares us the most is that some of these drinks, because of uh, lack of uh, equipment uh, when it comes to processing them, are they meant. Meanwhile, stakeholders have called on those in the private sector to follow health procedures in the production and marketing of herbal food and beverages. By Z campaign chief executive officer Ivan Sungoma says scientists in the country should take interest in developing the herbal medicines. We need much more uh, research and uh, development to be enhanced so that um, uh, products are produced and uh, uh, monitor the uh, uh, ways. You know, efficacy of these medicines should be there. Should be there. Zamra has, however, warned against those in herbal medicines illegally. Because the law is very clear that a thing, um, shall place products on the market without marketing authorization, and they should not advertise if they don't authorization from the authority. So the law is very clear. Her products that are not authorized for sale by authorities could be harmful for human consumption. Kasabula Muchimba, ZNBC News in Lusaka. We take our first commercial break. We have more news coming right after that. Do stay tuned. I don't care, I don't care, I don't.